Bull Journey Howl. Welcome back to the Game Wish Channel. I'm Johnny. And, I'm and today we're here with the Character Warehouse, Warehouse Tour. Violent vs. International. <laughs> Which do we like better? So this is the International. Okay, so they had a lot of Christmas stuff. Some mugs, a bunch of ornaments. Um, the ones that kind of have things inside, a bunch of sketchbook ornaments. There's some Toy Story and the Sloth. And then they had some Christmas pillows and throws. Pretty cute stuff, some pajamas. And then I don't know, no, that's not a spirit jersey. I think that's just another pajama shirt. And then some kid stuff. John's kind of bypassing. <laughs> there is Olaf mugs. And then these are all little ornaments. And then um, some countdown to Christmas things, more decor. And then um, more decor. <laughs> kind of the same stuff, just scattered in a different place. The necklaces. And then um, they have some, I guess, workout shorts for women, misting fans. John was into this. This is the Oogie Boogie Bash Spirit jersey. So you can see him trying to find his size. It's really cute. I love the colors. And then um, some dish towels. Um, that bag that's been there forever. Candle. Love that Ursula snow globe. And then some polos randomly. And then the new emo outfits. They had tons of those. They didn't have the backpacks though. We would have probably got one of those. And then they have some pop sockets and some phone cases. That one's lenticular, $7.99. And then they have some buttons and patches, basically everything on our do not send us on our bibbity list, <laughs> keychains. And then they had a bunch of shirts, obviously. They had a lot of cool different color ones, kind of basic, but still cute. I want to say they were about $10. You could always see when John likes something, he will pick it up. But that one was $14.99. A bunch of leggings and sweatpants. And then some Sherpa things. This is basically the pajama stuff. Oh, there's May May as a panda. And then we go over to the pins. This is the Heroes vs. Villains series that was there in June still, the Marvel. Bunch of Star Wars pins going fast by that. Um, some Easter ones, the Eternals, red from Pirates, and then more of the Heroes vs. Villains. Some Incredibles, Monsters, Baloo, Beast, um, more Monsters, Gaston's on the bottom. We picked a bunch of those up before. And then some open edition pins. A lot from the Disney Junior. And then some more of the pins and then lanyards, booster sets. Super cute. This one had a lot of pins. And then more Star Wars pins, bypass. <laughs> some um, Epcot Mickey ones with the different flags on the Mickey heads. And then there's me <laughs> looking at the Halloween ears, super cute. Those ones I think were $10. And then these Christmas ones, Christmas cookies, $5. Super good deal. They had a bunch of those. And then they have the Hades ones with the hair and then those big bulky ones that I guess light up on the bottom. We didn't bother showing. It's really cute. Um, Pegasus tie-dye. And Miko, or not Miko, whatever what his name is. And then some Epcot pillows. They had this jumper, <laughs> which random. 
another jumper, I guess. John thought he would find shirts, but I think this is the girls' section. Um, some bags, <laughs> weird dresses, some more shirts, and then he found the spirit jerseys. So the 2021 food and wine spirit jersey. Don't really love dated merch, but they had like winter coats in Florida. Super random. The 50th one's super cute. And we actually liked the Pizza Planet one as well. Of course, we were excited to see all this Baymax merch. I think that's, is that the purple wall? Not sure. Maybe. And then they still have those shirts. Just a mixture. Long sleeve spirit jerseys. A really cute Big Hero 6 sweatshirt hoodie. They had a bunch of hoodies and long sleeve things. Obviously because Florida is like 100 degrees. Hey Hey, that Monsters sweatshirt they wear all the time. They did have a lot of things. Oh, there's me with the Baymax shirt. I was like, this is super long. See if it's long in our haul video. I'll link that down below. Wants eternal shirts. No one liked Eternals. Cruise liner already. It's cute. And of course, John likes the up shirt. Spends a long time looking at that. <laughs> and then a cute little Baymax shirt with mochi on it. And then this was really cool. I guess this was a frame of the Evil Queen. And then a journal. And they had a bunch of cool just like figurines, but they were really big. We couldn't really carry those in our suitcase. These are trinket trays of all the parks. Rainbow bag. A little bit of like frame artwork mixed with like dog bowls. And these are plushes. John was trying to open it, but can't open. Um, now it's just a bunch more of those plushes. Some belts, which is pretty cool. We haven't seen those before. We are seriously considering getting this. <laughs> it's like a little dinner tray that you put your food on and then the drink goes there and you can just sit and eat on your lap. They had a bunch of mugs and plates and reusable straws, which we ended up getting because we don't like the paper straws. Some spatulas and kitchen things. Really cute poo mug. And then they had like this, I guess, like cloth napkin holders or dish towels, I think they are actually. Uh, and then they had some water bottle holders. Going back, there's that same bag again. This side was cool. They had a bunch of Alice in Wonderland things. So like, I think that's a water, I don't know, the um, things you put the cupcakes on. So like a teapot, very Alice things, some plates, that's a blanket and a pillow and then these are some Star Wars thing they had like a huge section of Star Wars in the front of the store which I kind of avoided <laughs> and then an animal wrist bag with the banshee some card wallets I will say like it's not the most organized in here so you kind of have to go around like every aisle that's behind the register. They had some bags and some doonies. This is the Vineland. Okay, this is international. Hi. Tim's taking a story picture for his Instagram. Well, I'm Tim, so I was doing that. <laughs> and then there's Johnny, hi. All right, international had some of the same stuff, but this cookie jar was super cute. Um, they had a lot more Junies at this Vineland one. So, 
five per guest. No thank you, still super expensive. So just looking at those, those are like the all dog ones. And then they had like the all bird one there as well. It's kind of hard to see because John went a little fast. Um, some Halloween stuff, there's that same bag. And then a close, well, no, still too fast. Um, towel, there's that little countdown thing again, a Chip and Dale mug. And then the ears are in this section. So they had a lot of similar stuff. There's that spirit jersey. The pumpkin one was actually a kid's one. That's why Johnny ignored it. But um, they had a little bit more of the like pajama type stuff at Vineland. So like a lot of plaid and flannel stuff. Some really happening dad jeans. And then they had a bunch of ornament and snow globe type things. Um, I kind of regret not getting some of these ornament scents, but a lot of the same ones. Um, they had a lot of different sketchbook ones at this one. So um, again, you'll see what we got in our haul that is linked down below. So you have like a bunch of Buzz and Woody ornaments. And then there's Cinderella. Some of the same pillows. Um, they had like a little bit different options. And then some cute little display trees that light up. Love those. And then some kind of little, I guess like houses that are salt shakers. And then they had a bunch of those Chippendale mugs. Some trays. So... Vineland was pretty busy, that's why I think John's going so fast. Um, so that is the Hitchhiking Ghost pop pin. More Numio outfits. And he noticed they had like little hangers and a closet type of thing <laughs> for the Numios there, which is interesting. And some spirit jerseys for them. A lot more phone cases. They had them basically for the older phones. And then nail polish, which is super random. That Hades headband they're trying to get rid of. And then there's more of the pop pins. They had all three hitchhiking ghosts. And then some tumblers, more mugs. Those are like the letter ones for the names. More phone cases. None of them for our phones. And then we don't show the kids section. And then uh, more glasses and kind of the same stuff we showed at the other one, except for they have a lunch bag at this one from that series. All that Alice stuff again. And then they had some aprons of Toy Story. Probably should have got those. Um, some trinket trays and then they have some like men's kind of like lounge shorts which I love one of those pairs spoiler I got some see John saw him he just didn't get him any for himself see he's going back to those same shirts he liked he's trying to see if the people mover had his size hair they did not and then um, that is another cute shirt. Going through, these are like all the unisex t-shirts. They didn't really have as many. That one's super cool. That's one we didn't see before. Like the Warhol kind of thing. Some dad polos. And it's crazy they have those shirts that were at the outlet like two years ago still. And then it's my happy place. So that's a really cute color shirt. And then they have that 50th jacket again. This is super cute, but we um, found out it was a crop top. And then um, some more clothing items. This is the women's section. They did have a lot more women's clothes at Vineland, I will say. And then 
some tank tops. <laughs> And then those bird leggings have been there for like three years, I want to say. And then kind of just going along. It was getting late by this point, so that's also kind of why John was like rushing this video a little bit. Because we were there like a little bit before closing. So that is Shere Khan. They had all the same heroes versus villain pins. That is a bunch of the Incredibles. And then they have the Marvel ones. Kind of the same stuff, some dog clothing, more keychains. And then I'm um, just trying to go to the other side. But it is basically just those same flag Mickey pins. They actually normally do not have pins at Vineland for the most part, besides like Star Wars pins. So we were pleasantly surprised to see pins there. Some little princess backpacks. And then some stationary things, autograph books kind of stuff. Reusable bags from Ron Disney. They had this pride bag also at this one it was $19.99 and they still have some ink and paint stuff which that came out years ago as well so John was kind of into that showing that off more and then they had the same banshee bag and then these VHS plushes if they were the pins we would have probably got them but it's basically just like a plush in the VHS box. Another backpack there. Santa hat, which is super cute. If you were doing like a Christmas in July, that would have been perfect. Some Pumbaa hats and some Star Wars gingerbread pillows. So which one did you like better? I think I liked Vineland only because I was pleasantly surprised by the merchandise that they had and how well organized it is. And I normally never see it like that. Yeah. I'm gonna have to go with International just because they always have more sizes for everybody. They always have pins. It's always a nicely stocked store and you could always find like new merch. Vineland is always a hit or miss for me because it's so close to the parks and like it's usually super crowded and there's like scraps basically you have to kind of like really dig or get there super early in the morning which we're not about international is pretty stocked at all times of the day so i will go for international you'll have to let us know which one you thought was better and if you like the shop with us videos please let us know in the comments if you like this video, give us a thumbs up. Yes, and if you're not a subscriber and enjoy Disney game pop culture and lifestyle related content, be sure to hit that subscribe button so we know to invite our, our future videos. And if you are a subscriber, thank you so much for joining us. And we can't wait to see you in our next video. Take care of you well. Bye.